In this tutorial, we will learn how to engrave any text, or how to create some carved text, on a flat surface like this, using Blender. And in case you are looking for an embossed text, like this one, you can check our next tutorial, the link is given in the video description. So let us start with a blank new file. We will hide this default cube for the time being. Now go to the Add menu and add a text field. We would like to enter our own text, instead of this default text. So go to the Edit mode. Delete everything with backspace, and type your own text, you can even use Enter, for a multi-line text. Once done, we can go back to the object mode. Then go to this text tab. We can change the font for our text from this place, and the font size can be changed from here. Then scroll down below, and in this alignment section, we will change both the horizontal alignment, and also the vertical alignment to center. Before we do anything with this, we have to convert it into a mesh object. So go to the Object menu. Then under Convert, select the Mesh option. We have to now again go to the Edit mode. Press A on your keyboard to select everything, and hit X to bring this menu and select Limited Dissolve. Then go to the Mesh menu, and under Merge, select Merge by Distance. Let us open this operator box and change this value to say 0.01. As a result, we can see that some vertices are removed by Blender. We did this to avoid some issues at a later point in time when we add bevel to this. Now press E on your keyboard to extrude it, and you can either move your mouse like this, or type a value like 0.3, and then hit enter. This will add a thickness to our text, so we'll get a 3D version of our text object. Now, back to the object mode, we can bring back the default cube. We need to resize it so that it covers the entire text, so go to the object properties. We will first change the Z-Scale factor to say 0.25. It will reduce the height, and then we need to also enlarge it in length. So let us increase the X-Scale factor like this. Let's make it 2.5, and we can slightly also change the Y-Scale factor. So the cube is ready, and our text object is placed at the center of this cube. Now we have to move the text object vertically to rectify its Z-location as appropriate. We need to ensure that there is an overlap between the two. This overlap determines the depth of the engraving. We can directly enter a value in this Z location. It helps us to fine-tune the position of the text. Once final, select the cube and go to the Modifiers tab. Then add a Boolean modifier. We have to ensure that this difference option is selected. And in this target field, we have to select the text object. Let us then hide the text. Now we'll see that we have an engraved form of the text, it has been carved onto the cube object. But sometimes it may not give the correct result. So you can either use this fast option, or use the exact method itself, but expand the solver options, and try to enable this option called self-intersection, the problem should get solved. Now is the time to set up the materials, before we apply the boolean modifier. Let us turn on the rendered view mode. Here we have used HDRI lighting. If it looks dark for you, you can either follow our tutorial on HDRI, the link is given below, or just use this material view mode, it's similar to the rendered view. Now let us go to the materials tab, and create a new material. You can easily change the properties of this material, like its color and other things. And for the inside surface, we need to select the text object, and then create a new material. You can change its properties as you wish. Or, you can also select an existing material from this list. For the main cube object, let us use a wooden material, which we have imported from another project. So far, this is how our output looks like, without any bevel effect added yet. While the cube is selected, go to the Modifiers tab, and apply the Boolean modifier. Then go to the Object menu, and turn on the option, Shade Auto Smooth. Now we can delete the text object altogether. In the final step, we can make it even better, by adding some bevel. First select this object, go to the object menu, and apply the scale factors from here. Then in the modifiers tab, we have to add a bevel modifier. The width type should be offset, and let's change the amount value to 0.01. The number of segments can be 5. Then expand the geometry section, and we need to disable this clamp overlap. And then under Shading, let us enable the option called, Harden Normals. 
So now it looks far better, since the bevel has slightly curved the edges. And remember, if you increase this amount field, you'll see some unpredictable result, with a wrong geometry like this. So use a lower value like 0.01, or if required you can even reduce it further. Just go with whichever value gives you an acceptable output, like we can see a clean cut here, from our text. So the engraving part of this tutorial is done, now we will see how to export this model for some other software. We have to first apply all the modifiers. Then go to the file menu, and under export, let us export it in the GLB format. Maybe we can save it on the desktop. Now we will open the extracted file in a 3D viewer. So we can see that we got the whole thing extracted correctly, along with the materials, and it looks awesome. So this is how you can engrave any text, or even any logo, or a design, on a flat surface. It's quick, it's classy, and it does not need you to purchase any special software. So I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and join this channel.